When fireworks explode in the sky, uh, chemical reactions occur to produce these wonderful visual displays of different colors. However, a variety of things are released. Um, you can think about the typical gases such as sulfur dioxide, noxes, um, similar to vehicle or exhaust from a car. These things can react in the atmosphere and cause pollution um, at the ground surface. You can also have pollutants such as metals. And so when a firework explodes and you see these beautiful colors, those are individual metals that produce this color. Copper will produce that bluish greenish color and something like Barium will produce a green color, strontium a kind of a red color, um, calcium and uh, sodium will produce something that's more akin, akin to the orange colors in, in the fireworks. The calcium and the sodium, you know, we, we liberally apply those um, as, as fertilizers, but something like strontium and copper and even barium, we don't really want those in high concentrations. Those are the ones that have a higher toxicity to us. You can even find that in some countries, things like, um, you know, lead and chromium have been, have been banned for their use. Uh, you can also get things like particulate matter, so that really small material uh, that's left in the atmosphere. And that can be really challenging because it's small enough for us to be able to inhale it and cause damage to the lungs deeper down. Um, and that can be a challenge when we're emitting things into the atmosphere. The level can be maybe 100, 500 times above what is considered guideline. You can also have the chemicals such as perchlorate, which is the oxidizer in a firework. Um, and that is released into the atmosphere and then will get washed out into the rivers and water systems. And that can be really dangerous for our ecosystems. Everything that goes up into the atmosphere, generally speaking, comes back down again. Some people might say that um, fireworks um, only produce a temporary condition in the environment and then it blows away and it's it's not a problem anymore. Uh, doing that over repeated periods of times can have a big impact for those that are vulnerable to um, poor air quality. And um, if you keep depositing it over a series of years, you'll hit that critical point where you'll start to have a problem with the concentration in the soils and in the water systems. So what options do we have? We can, you know, obviously continue to design better fireworks um, and we can kind of transition away from fireworks to using things like drones. Um, my, my feeling really is that we need to um, regulate and control um, who's, who's setting off fireworks and where they're setting them off because people aren't aware of the environmental damages associated with it.